If you place points on the boundary of your site and they aren't aligned, then you won't get a clean edge to the boundary. And the surfaces, the triangulation that happens when a topo surface is created, in a sense, will be inaccurate at the edges of the site. So at some point, you might actually want to just trim the topo surface itself to clean it up and make sure that everything that's shown is as close as possible to the actual terrain uh, as formed by these multiple triangular surfaces that make up the terrain itself. So in creating the terrain, you, you may at some point split the surfaces. Uh, it might be to clean it up. It might be because you want to manage a very large model and have multiple uh, topo surfaces themselves. Um, and it also might be that maybe you want to divide it up because you want to put different materials on a different top of surfaces. Okay, I'm just going to clean up the site. So I'm going back to my site model. I'm looking here at the wireframe representation so I can see the edge of my boundary. Now, now I can uh, go back to my massing and site and split surface. So split surface, switch surface, draw in some lines. Take out uh, this piece. I could have been a bit more efficient in the way that I'm doing that. I can say split surface and I could continue from here. I can't have a closed shape, but I can certainly get rid of those. So I've now got my terrain. Um, I want to uh, change the material. So if I go back to my manage object styles, the topography was site earth. And what I'm doing is I'm changing that to make it site grass. So I click on the option there. Let me just scroll down to see this site grass. Um, and then I'll hit the tab key and enter. So I'm now down with site grass and okay to apply it. If I go back to 3D, <coughs> I've got my terrain model. I'm kind of ready to start putting uh, things on the site. 